this is one of the top requested videos along with how did I become a successful makeup artist. If you haven't seen that video, please click the link down below and you can watch that video as well. It's kind of my makeup story and everything, but is a look kind of inside of my professional freelance makeup kit. Um, this is the stuff that I have accumulated um, for years and stuff that I know that works for me, trial and error stuff. Um, it might seem like a lot for you. Don't feel like you need to get everything or some stuff might be expensive. Some stuff is actually inexpensive. Um, this is just stuff that I know works for me and for my clients. So um, yeah, so this is a look into to some of my stuff that's in my kit. Oh, also, these are just some pictures of behind the scenes of me on set doing models, some before and after pictures like this one, or me just doing the everyday bride. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to ask me. Leave a comment down below, and I will try to answer you guys as soon as possible, or to get a quicker response, please follow me on my social network working, which is a Facebook, Instagram. I'm really, really easy and quick to answer that way. As you guys can see here, my two little munchkins, Riley and Aubrey, are sitting in my freelance makeup chair. I take this everywhere with me. It has been my lifesaver. It is one of the things that I have found over the years that so I don't have to break my back after doing hair and makeup for hours and bending over. It hurts so much. I found this on eBay and it is amazing. What's good about this is that you can lift it up and it just attaches right here. And then here, if you don't need the table, it goes down just like that. And it's super easy just to fold up and carry over my shoulder. Okay, I just got back from a photo shoot, so that is why a lot of my brushes are already dirty. Um, I didn't have time to clean them. I wanted to hurry up and film this video for you guys. Um, before I lost I'm shooting outside and I won before the Sun went down and I lost a lot of the natural light So here is I've had this for so long. I think it has gone away It used to say Mac right there. This is the large Mac container. I use this. This is my lifesaver This is what separates um, I put all of these like um, separately. These are all my dirty brushes. So I usually have like my big like face brushes in one and like here's my spatula this is key for everything see it is very dirty here I usually will have like all of my face brushes and then I have all of like my um, eye brushes that I use and then when I leave my shoot or my client I put all like my beauty blenders that I use see I've got a couple of them in here already um i put them all in here and then i just put these in there and i put the cap on it and now i know what are clean and what are dirty brushes to take home with me i, I mean like this container right here i got from mac and i think with my mac pro i think i got it for under 20 bucks that I just brought some of my essentials like because I knew exactly what I was doing today so I only brought some of my essential brushes I didn't bring everything that I absolutely needed um, with this thing has been through a battle zone as you can see here with leather cases it's really hard to clean them so this has definitely been stained with makeup and stuff like that um, I try to take it off with alcohol but I don't know what takes it off it just doesn't come off so here um, I have a couple of, I will just briefly go over, I'm not going to go over every single brush that I own. Um, I got a couple of the Sigmas here, as you can see, I have a couple of Sigma face ones here. I have a MAC, this one is a, what is this, a MAC, I don't know, one, 187 that I have here. Uh, this one is a Sedona lace one here. This is great fan brush. This is what I use for a lot for my highlighting just to tap on top of the cheekbones here. I've got some more Sedona lace ones. Um, 
this one here is a 980 as well and then um this one here is a sedona lace this sedona lace this one's a sedona lace this one's a sedona lace i have a sorry i got out of the frame i have a lot of sedona lace ones um i have a lot of the mac 217 brushes these are one of my favorite blending brushes as you can see here a whole bunch of them are dirty already in here this is one of my favorite brushes as well this is amazing for packing on concealer um, this one is by Inglot I think it has worn off Inglot 4 SS see if I can get that in focus Inglot 4 SS and then I have just a couple of synthetic ones and then these are my favorite eyeliner brushes in the whole wide world um, these are the MAC 2, 208s they are so super thin I absolutely love I can get a perfect wean liner with this I haven't been able to find one in a long time that matches it sometimes for contouring what I use a lot for contouring in the cheeks is this round dome shaped brush and this one is by Sedona Lace and it is the FB05 love this brush a lot it helps um, blend out color really really well a lot of you guys ask this is what I carry all of my um, makeup inside and it is the Zuka Pro they also have a Zuka Sport as well but I carry a lot of crap in my kit so I use the Zuka Pro this thing has been through so much it they're sending me another one which I think is amazing about Zuka is that here I don't know if you can see at the seams that I'm literally busting out and they were really nice Zuka was really nice and they're sending me a new one because they know how much I love it I just love that it has all the pockets on the sides and I will show you what I have as I told you guys before I'm coming straight from a photo shoot so literally I didn't even question to see what my kit looks like so um here i will show you here i have a couple of banana clips here for pulling back hair here these are great and then here this is a lifesaver i just have a whole bunch of just straws just random straws that i got from like the 99 cent store and i pack a whole bunch of straws here for clients because um, in case I do their lipstick and I don't have time to touch them up or whatever um, they're able to drink their water or drink their champagne or whatever they're drinking and not mess up their lipstick that I just applied on them and what I have down here um, these are disposable right here these are disposable wand mascara wands I get them in the pack like a thousand of them and they come like 10 each here I get them off of eBay um, I use these spoolies for my eyebrows if I need to brush them eyebrows out but it's for mascara so I got these and then these are a lifesaver um, this is a hundred pack but I get 10 of these at a time um, these are I guess q-tips with like sticks on the end these are amazing these are for I use these for eyelashes and when I apply the eyelash on, it will soak up any glue that I have left over so it doesn't stick to the bottom part of the client's eye and it doesn't stick together. I don't have to get my fingers all up in someone's eye. I can just use the stick. It is amazing. I absolutely live by these. And I, there is a pocket like right behind where the straws and stuff are. There is a zip up pocket that is right here. And I just have some napkins just in case there is no napkins or towels around me wherever I am doing makeup to clean up my messes or clean my brushes on. And then down in here, I will show you. I have a bag of band-aids. You will need these because I couldn't tell you how many times I've been on a photo shoot or girls night out a wedding or something and girls have blisters on their feet from the uncomfortable high heels that they wear. So this really does come in handy and if I cut myself or whatever it is, always carry band-aids with me. Let's see what else is in here. Nail polish remover. Sometimes I will get a client that wants to change their nail polish or something and they don't have any. So I carry a very small one. I got this at Ulta. I think I paid two bucks for it or not even two dollars. I can't remember. But I carry nail polish remover. 
And then here is disposable wands. I don't use these very much, but if for some reason a client wants to have a brush with them, I give them one of these. What else? Oh yes, I have travel makeup wipe removers just in case a bride or somebody wants something for afterwards. Uh, even for my models for their photo shoots, I give them these because sometimes the makeup is too extravagant and they have to go do errands or go to work after my photo shoots. Then I also, oh here's a couple more makeup removers and then I have a couple different colors of nail polish got a sparkly purple I have a nice plum I've got a silver I carry these with because sometimes clients you know their nail polish chips I also carry it somewhere in here um, I carry a very bright red this is an insta dry so it's able to dry really quick this is a very popular color for weddings it seems like I use this a lot for um, my bridesmaids and even my brides and stuff like that they need red also love about Zuka is with the Zuka Pro you will also get five of these zip-up cases which are amazing and I also forgot to mention about the Zuka Pro is that it has the exact dimensions for overhead compartments for the makeup artist or the traveler on the go it will fit up above in the overhead compartment so you have no problems and you don't have to worry about you know having to double stuff your makeup or anything like that you don't have to worry about things breaking um, so this is also good because TSA every once in a while I've only had it happen once but it is clear so that TSA is able to look through all of your makeup bags and see exactly what is inside of them. So this is the first thing that I pulled out here. Um, this is kind of my bag of um, colored eyeshadows and glitters and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna go through everything that I possibly have. Um, these are little cosmetic bags that I get from Ipsy when I, cause I subscribe to Ipsy. So these are really good. Um, I carry, hold on, I will show you real quick. Right here I carry all of my colored glitters and some rhinestones and stuff I use the most um, I here is Mac um, what is this one reflex gold I've got some silver ones I've got lit glitters which I'm obsessed with lit I've got some just these are just like the neutral colors like gold silver these are all my glitters right here that I use on clients or girls night out these are really 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 um, popular with and then what is inside here, of course, is Sugar Pill. Um, this is the, what is this one? Burning Heart Palette. I've got the Sweetheart Palette. I use, I don't use these very much for clients. I mostly use these for photo shoots. And then this is, <clears throat> I think it came around holiday time, around Christmas. This is Max Pigment. I use these obsessed with this pigment. pigment. This is Naked Pigment. I am not too fond of this black glittery gold or something you know glitter it's like a black chunky glitter i don't really like it that much obsessed with the naked pigment um these are amazing so i got this one and then here is a z palette that has a lot of my bright colors i just depotted them as you can see here these are like my greens and blues and purples and stuff like that that i use here um the more rectangular shaped ones are from inglot and of course the round ones are all from mac um yeah so i mean there's really no form to these at all these are just more of my brighter shades that i use here um, i do have like one rusty orange color right there and then i have here in this bag just because I use <laughs> these are like pigment ones and they have exploded on me before so that is why they are in a Ziploc bag um, here is sugar pills like Goldilocks is right there there's a couple of other gold pigments um, some mica beauties there's an elf pigment eyeshadow right there a hip one of the silver so I just keep these in a Ziploc just because they have exploded um, this down here right here is a BH cosmetic um, colored palette so I use I don't use it that much but I use this when I do photo shoots and stuff like that okay so um, I'm all about Ziploc bags because it makes things a lot easier and when I go traveling you have to put everything in Ziploc bags they don't like everything just rumbling around for on carry-on so inside this one this is a lot of my primers so I have a which one is this this is a lip conditioner and then I have a few of the Urban Decay primer potions. I have the smaller one. I have the bigger one. I've got, here, let's see. 
I've got um, Too Faced Lip Insurance. This is really good for people that their lipstick doesn't stay on their lips very long. Um, I use this sometimes when I mix it with the foundations for glowy skin. This is NARS Orgasm. <clears throat> This is a clear, I use this for glitter. This is like a clear base coat, I guess. Um, Smashbox, I use this for priming the skin. Smashbox Photo Matte. This is matte. I'm all about matte. I'm not a very big on dewy skin just because it doesn't photograph well. So that is what is in that bag. And then I just have Q-tips in a, another Ziploc bag. And then these are like my favorite go-to palettes, Lorac is one of my favorite palettes so i have a lorac i have the naked one and the naked three these are my go-to's oh look random lip gloss this is one of my favorite lip glosses this one's by chanel and what color is this one 19 in blizzard this was just like oh my gosh i forgot to pack this let me just throw it anywhere so this one is a blush palette so i depot a lot of stuff and i throw them into a mac blush mac palette i wish they still made these i'm telling you right now i love these i got the new one i don't know if it's just me oh look this is why <gasps> i'm so glad it's doing it this is exactly why all my eyeshadows every once in a while will come up and i don't know if it's just me i feel like it is not strong enough so this is what I need here. Let me get a good angle. This is where I've depotted. Oh, I got dirty. See, this is exactly why I don't like this palette. I hate it. I wish Max sold these palettes, but they don't anymore. They sell these damn palettes. I hate these so much. But um, I do like the divider. I am able to do more. I'd rather just get a whole bunch of Z palettes. And I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy a whole bunch more Z palettes and just convert them. So these are more of my brown shades that I have here. These are my lighter shades that I have here. These are a couple of my favorite highlighters that I use. I am trying to beat the sun because the sun is going down. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sun is setting. Ah! And here is a Coastal Sense Warm Palette. I only use these for the brown shades. I use these a lot for eyebrows. I don't experiment, see browns and blacks. I don't experiment with that much here. So that is my other eyeshadow bag that I use there. I wish I would have worked. This is my face organized, like my face bag here. Um, this is another Z palette. I have just depotted um, it's just some powders that I have here. These are like Mac studio finish powders. Um, this is blunt by Mac. This is my go-to contour color that I use a lot on people. Um, but yeah, this is, and then I am a big person. I have been on a Graftobian kick. So this is the big palette. Look at that. It is just scraped clean. Oh my goodness. This is what I use. I use a spatula here to scrape out color. I don't ever double dip into stuff just because of cross contamination. So um, I use my Graftobian, um, but I've been on Graftobian. This is amazing. This is a makeup artist's dream. It is so full coverage. There you go. So full coverage. And I just picked up some more right here. I'm thinking about doing a, a video. If you guys would like to see it, leave a comment down below on my Graftobians, on those colors that were just completely wiped out. I just bought some more to fill those up. So those. Um, here is um, my second favorite is a MAC Studio Sculpt. This is another one of my favorites. I have quite a few colors of these. Um, another one is I have Chanel. Um, this one is the Vita Aqua La Mer. Um, MAC cover up um, this is the uh, max mixing medium that I use with the Graftobian this is what I mix it with just to kind of because Graftobian is a very thick so I use this to um, thin it out so it has better spreadability this is what I use and these are kind of my go-to highlighters these are the max prep and prime highlighters and I have them in all the shades I've also found by Maybelline 
the Lumi is kind of like the same. It's cheaper. Um, it's kind of like the same consistency and it's probably like eight bucks cheaper. So I actually do like these. I need to pick up some more of these as well. Um, these are amazing. These are by Mayron. It's touch up matte shine, anti shine. I just found this. I'm obsessed with these. Um, for even people that have very oily skin, you use only a, a touch of this and it completely mattifies, especially like the forehead, um, the T-zone area. This is amazing in. Um, I have some Inglot. I am not fond of the Inglots. Is this the AMC one? Yeah, AMC. I am not fond of, of Inglots AMC at all. This won't focus. There you go. And then here, um, this is a highlighter. Let's see if I can get this. You can hear my kids in the background. Why can't I? There you go. This is a really good highlighter that I like to use even as a blush and a highlighter in one. This is in shade Perfectly Poised. Um, I don't use this that much. This was in this, this um, Sailor Hey Sailor collection highlighter. This is just a big, this is just a bronzer. This I use a lot. This is um, a pressed powder. It's like their translucent powder. I cannot open this one handed. I use this a lot just to mattify and press in powder. Um, here is Lovejoy, which is a favorite um, blush of mine for darker complexion. Um, here is a really fun, this is a skin finish, mineralized skin finish. Of course, I have to have the famous Ben 9 banana powder. I love these as well as a setting powder. So, I mean, I've got other stuff in here too, but as a makeup artist, I will say, obviously I have a lot of stuff. You don't need all of this. This is like um, in time, everything that I have collected. I do not say when you're first starting out, you do not need all this stuff. Um, I just in time know what I like. Um, I would say as a makeup artist, just getting a couple of shades. You only need maybe like two light shades, two medium and two dark, especially because um, as a makeup artist, you will learn um, being a master mixer to get that perfect shade. Not everybody is an NC35 and they're exactly an NC35. They are different shades, so you will have to mix a lot of stuff. You can see it got so dark so quickly. Um, this is a bag that I use for my eyelashes here. Um, I need to refill it. I have a whole bunch of eyelashes in the drawer. Um, I got this at Target. I think literally I got this for a couple of dollars, but it's got a net on the side. So I use my eyelash curler is in there. Um, what else is in there? Sorry, it needs to focus. Um, it's also got my eyelash glue. It's also got my little, let's see, eyelash curler, eyelash glue, my scissors, because you need to um, trim the eyelashes. And then I never use these. I saw these and I thought they were really cool but I don't use them. I've also got tweezers for those stray hairs in there. So that is what I use and that is in my eyelash bag. So this is my skin bag. And then here is another empty bag that I got. And this is mascaras and um, pencil sharpeners, clear mascara for eyebrows. I use nude pencil. This is for also my pencils. Um, what is that? A white eyeliner pencil. This is waterproof whole bunch of eye pencils that I have in here from like Urban Decay to NYX to a whole bunch of different kinds. So this is like my eyeballs and then here makeup wipes. Here I forgot to turn them upside down. If you, good trick, if you take your makeup wipes and you flip the bag upside down, all of the juice tends to sit at the bottom of it. So if you flip them over, all the, the solution and everything goes to the very front. So then your ones that you pull open are not dried out. So here, this one is Max Brush Cleaner. Um, I use this for on the go because it dries very quickly and if I need to hurry up and clean my brushes in between, um, in between clients or at a fashion show or something like that, this is what I use. This is an, an old, but this I put 91% alcohol into it. So I use this to sanitize everything after my clients. So this is like an old brush cleaner bottle there. 
Mac Painterly Pay Pod. This is more some priming stuff. Um, Urban Decay. Um, um, what is one is this? D Slick. This is a makeup setting spray. Um, this is a bronzer. You can't really tell because it's getting so dark out. Ah! Uh, Max Fix Plus here. Body lotion. And it has, look at that. It has cracked open. I should take that out before it goes everywhere. Um, this here is moisturizer, face moisturizer, hand sanitizer. I go through these probably once a month. Like I go through these so much. Um, some more Mac. Um, what is that on there? I don't know. But Max uh, Skin Base. Max Skin Base. Visine. I will get clients to have because when they come to Vegas, it is so dry here and they are not used to the, the dry heat. Um, so I use, I carry Visine as well for my clients. Here's a broken thing. Take that out. So that is my skin bag. I literally had to just bust out my iPhone <laughs> for the light here just because it is getting really bad lighting. So this is my lipstick thing. I went and I did this a while ago. I showed like, um, my lipstick palette that I just went and I depotted a whole bunch of lipsticks because it's easier to do this than having to um, carry around like 50 different lipsticks so I carry a lot of these in here so this is a makeup artist dream because then if I'm on set I can hurry up and just grab this and go so it's really simple and easy I have a smaller cosmetic bag here of just lip liners different colors of lip liners I'm not going to go through them all I've got from Max, NYX, excuse me, to a whole bunch of different kinds here. Here in this bigger bag is a lip glosses I have from OCC to, let me focus, OCC to some Chanel's to some Max to like, I've got just like a whole bunch of different kinds of lip glosses that I have here. I don't have like a whole bunch, but I have like the ones that I would use the most of. Um, and then down there is a lip palette that I got from Coastal Sense. I rarely ever use that, but I still bring it because I am a pack hoarder. And I feel like I still need it just in case you need that different color that I don't have. Okay, what is awesome about Zuka is that they have these side cases. And what I carry here is a little pill stuff. It is just Advil and some ibuprofen. Um, just in case I get headaches or if I'm on set for like eight hours, my back will start to hurt. So I bring this just because even my clients will have headaches and I've got that. Um, what else do I have? What's in the side one? Oh, tape. If you need a straight line on the side of someone's face or if you have glitter and you need to pick some glitter up or something like that, I always carry tape with me. This little side pocket, it has got business cards that I've collected from people like photographers and stuff like that I collect oh, come on there's like a whole bunch of business cards from clients or photographers every once in a while I will go through everybody's stuff and I will contact them if I want to shoot with them again and I will show you what is on the other side is there even anything even over here oh yes there is a mirror I don't want to blind you but here is a mirror so clients can see themselves afterwards here in this little side pocket is how a lot of the time I get paid. I, you know, if the client doesn't have cash on them, it is good to use. I have both a square and a PayPal swiper. So it just connects to your phone and you're able to pay by credit card right away. So they don't have to run down to an ATM machine. It's very, very convenient to get paid. Cause I've had some people like, oh, I don't have enough money. I'm like, and I've got a credit card. Don't worry about that. What I also forgot to show you guys here is there is a net at the very top, which is awesome. Um, what I what I have here, I need to clean because I used it today. This is an armband. This goes. This is an arm cuff. I use this around um, <clears throat> my wrist, and it is my mixing palette. These little rings right here are magnets so um, bobby pins and my spatula and stuff like that can stick to it so it's really simple and easy um, i mix my foundations and all that stuff on top of here this is super handy um, i got this one from lovake so um yeah so that is everything that i have in my kit today obviously it changes from client to client um, I also do have an airbrush kit as well and a hair kit which I think I might be doing in a later video 
you guys let me know in the comment box down below and you let me know if you would like to see what is in my airbrush kit and what's in my freelance hair kit as well i hope this helped you guys out a lot if you guys have any questions on things that you saw or anything like that please leave a comment down below do not forget to subscribe to my channel I think the subscribe button is up above. And also do not forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I do a lot of all that stuff on there. All right. I hope you guys have a great day and um, happy freelancing. Until next time, you guys. Bye.